With the Madden Ultimate Team season just around the corner, it's important to find a reliable site. Introducing MuttReserve.com. Find all your coin needs there, and while you're there, make sure to use code RENDER for 15% off. What's up guys, we're back again with another Madden video. And in recent reports, it looks as if the Saints are open to trading Alvin Kamara. Now, what does that mean, actually? Does that mean that they are going to trade Alvin Kamara? Are they going to at least put him up in the trade block to see what they get? I think that's the most likely thing. I think they were going to see what can they get for this running back. Um, because Kamara wants the wants the bag and it doesn't look like the Saints are going to give it to him. So um, what I wanted to do today is to test out potentially one of his potential landing spots, and that would be the New England Patriots. Uh, the Patriots did sign Lamar Miller. They have Sonny Michelle. They have James White. But let's be very clear. James White is really just a receiving back. Lamar Miller is a kind of veteran that, you know, probably doesn't have much left in the tank. Sonny Michelle isn't healthy from what it seems, and this seems to be like the most interesting spot. We could potentially see a very similar Cam Newton CMC duo with Alvin Kamara and Cam Newton in New England. Now, will this be the reality of it? Personally, I think the Saints are going to be keeping Alvin Kamara. Um, you don't give up a guy like that unless you get the bag. Uh, and I don't know what teams will be willing to give up for a running back, especially with during COVID um, and not really having a ton of time to develop him and get him ready for the season. But without further ado, I do want to test out this Patriots simulation. How does Alvin Kamara affect the Patriots this season? Uh, if you have seen in previous simulations, uh, it will be in the card description at the top right, Cam Newton balls out about every single season. Uh, he is always in contention for MVP, it seems. And so will that up his stock or will that actually drop him down if you have a guy like Alvin Kamara? Receiving wise, it makes Alvin Kamara incredibly interesting and Cam Newton that much better of a quarterback. It does hurt James White value, which is kind of a bummer. I'm a huge Patriots fan, and hurting James White's value is always never fun, especially when it comes to fantasy. But Alvin Kamara with the Patriots. Is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? Let's find out. All right, looking at the potential trade offers for this, uh, Alvin Kamara is really hard to get in this game, especially with the, what the Patriots have. Um, I don't expect the Patriots to be giving up a ton for Kamara. I think it will be a lot of draft stock. Um, but not a lot of players by any means they will give up. Um, this was a trade that I proposed. Uh, second round pick, a fourth round pick in Marquise Lee. I think that's the typical value for a running back of his caliber. A second round pick is usually what you can give up for that kind of talent. Uh, I threw in the fourth in Marquise Lee just to make it, I guess, more of an added benefit for the Saints. I turned him to a punter because nothing was going through for Kamara, so I will just accept this trade. And so now the Saints have the second round pick from us, the fourth pick, sorry, the fourth round pick and Marquise Lee for Alvin Kamara. And now he finally got on the team. All right, let's look at Alvin Kamara as a Patriot, by the way. Uh, 5'10", 215 pounds, soaking wet, 25 years old, very young running back. Uh, you know, we kind of forget how young this guy is because of how great he has done the past couple seasons. 89 overall, superstar development. This guy's a stud and I think any team would be lucky to trade for him and be able to get him in a trade. Uh, 89 speed, he's not a super speedy guy, but I think it's just his mobility, his agility, his way to just really contort his body and just get find the open hole um, in the line is just what makes him so great, and his pass catching ability is phenomenal. Uh, but Alvin Kamara, absolute stud, and just to kind of show you what I'm going to be doing with the running back core, if you will, because we have a deep, deep, deep running back core for the Patriots. We have Alvin Kamara, James White, Sonny Michelle, Lamar Miller, uh, Damian Harris, I believe, from Alabama. Um, what I'm going to be doing is I will get rid of uh, Alvin, I'm sorry, not Alvin Kamara, I just traded for him. Dear goodness. I'm going to get rid of Sonny Michelle. I'm going to trade him away. I'm going to get rid of uh, Lamar Miller as well. And we'll keep James White because he's a receiving back, and I think that's the fairest option. So I will get rid of Sonny Michelle and Lamar Miller. Uh, I might show you those two trades, maybe not. We'll see. All right, to be fair with all these trades, I'm just trying to get rid of these guys just to not make it too unrealistic. But we're just going to give Lamar Miller up for a seventh round pick to the Bears because Lord knows they need a running back with David Montgomery going down. Um, as for um, 
Sonny Michelle. I think what I'm going to do instead is just turn him into the punter for the season. Uh, he is injured, so it's not out of the question that he doesn't return uh, for at least part of the season. He is injured, so it's yes, I know it's unrealistic just to turn him to a punter, but this does allow us to focus more on Alvin Kamara and James White and a lot less on Sonny Michelle. So we'll turn him into a punter and then we'll get the simulation started. All right, let's get the simulation started. One season, everybody knows the rules. Without further ado, let's check at the midseason point, see how this Patriots team with the newly added Alvin Kamara is doing. All right, at the midseason point, Cam Newton has 2,000 yards passing, 17 touchdowns, six interceptions with a 65% completion rate. Very solid for Cam. Uh, he's usually not a very accurate quarterback, uh, but 65% is not bad whatsoever at 102 QBR rating. As for Kamara, 88 carries for 387 yards, 4.4 yards per carry, not bad whatsoever, and three touchdowns. Uh, you can see James White has about 41 carries. That's expected. Um, James White will get a lot of that uh, second secondary halfback workload, if you will. So don't be surprised if he finishes with around 80 to 90 carries. But Kamara will definitely finish 160 to 200 range for carries. And we could definitely see him have close to a thousand yard season. What I've noticed in Madden simulation for this year is that it's the second half of the year where your players get a vast majority of their stats that they have accrued for the season. I think they just kind of pick up the pace the second half of the season. Uh, Cam Newton's got 18 carries, so that does take into a little bit of the workload from Kamara. As for receiving, because he has a receiver receiving back right Alvin Kamara one reception oh okay well one reception for uh 10 yards so at least he's efficient with that right 10 yards per reception um but he really has not been thrown to it all James White 15 receptions for 183 yards uh this is Madden simulation right so real life James White and Kamara could easily have 50 receptions a piece right now and a couple hundred yards because they're that dynamic out of the backfield but Alvin Kamara not a bad start to the first uh, half of the season let's look at their overall record for the Patriots all right looking at the record uh I'm a little bit in shock right now the Patriots are sitting at one and six one of the worst teams in the NFL I'm not getting it I think it maybe potentially is the defense that's taking a hit they're giving up 220 points on the season so far but their offense isn't producing really that well either. Uh, even though Cam Newton's playing well, Alvin Kamara's playing well, it's a little bit confusing. Um, maybe they had a rough start to the season, but I would be surprised if they finish, what, it's, uh, six and 10 maybe even? I would. They, they should be a playoff team in my opinion. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping they have this con absolute flip of the, t the coin and return this back into like a 10 and six record, or maybe nine and seven if they're lucky. But right now, this Kamara trade's not really benefiting the Patriots, it seems. All right, at the end of the season, Cam Newton balled out. He almost, he more than doubled his passing yards for the first half of the season, jumping up almost 2,700 passing yards, 41 touchdowns, and 16 interceptions. Absolute phenomenal season for Cam Newton. MVP like numbers, no doubt. As for running, Alvin Kamara, 200 carries for 1,000 yards. 5.2 yards per carry, 12 touchdowns, he balled out as well. Not a crazy amount of rushing yards, but still very efficient with what he was given. James White, 4.1 yards per carry for 400 yards rushing, 3 touchdowns, not bad. Uh, let's look at receiving, did Kamara get any more work? He kind of did. He got 5 receptions, so f 4 more than he did at the midseason mark for 82 yards, so again, very efficient, 16.4 yards per reception, and he got 2 touchdowns, so on top of everything, Kamara finished with 14 touchdowns in the total, and about, about 1,100 all-purpose yards not horrible so overall successful uh, a successful season for Kamara I would say so um, now let's look at the record though because that's a little bit of a worry they were at one and six did they win out I mean the way that Cam Newton played and the way Kamara played you would have to imagine they at least got close to a winning record right yeah I'll pump the brakes just a little bit I guess uh, the Patriots won four more games after the midseason point finishing a whopping 5 and 11. Uh, this team was sorry this division was absolutely horrible. The best team was the Jets and they went 6 and 10. I don't get it. Uh, <laughs> this is Madden simulation at its finest. So you're telling me that the AFC East, the best team out of all of it was a 
23rd best ranked NFL team. And it's the Jets, mind you, the Jets. Adam Gase, are you kidding me? There's no way, and mm, no, there's no way. I'm sorry, that's, that's unrealistic. Unrealistic. And the fact that Cam Newton balled out and Alvin Kamara balled out, I don't, I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand, guys. But uh, nonetheless, uh, let's look at the season accolades to see how Kamara uh, fared with his new team. All right, at the end of the season, Cam Newton takes home MVP award uh, with a 5 and 11 record. Again, I don't understand it either. Um, he balled out almost 5,000 passing yards, 40 plus touchdowns absolute stud for this team uh was kamara even in contention no probably not uh coach of the year was andy reed 14 and two chiefs that makes sense to me afc accolades let's look at this so cam newton somehow doesn't get offensive player of the year for the afc but patty mahomes does mm -hmm. realistic all right um no alvin kamara for offensive player of the year the best thing that we're looking at is run, uh, running back and kamara is sixth so not a bad finish for Kamara. He went up one overall, so he did improve technically. Um, he had a good season. Now, if we just had Alvin Kamara and we changed the playbook in the run in the scheme to more of a run scheme fit, then definitely we could see Kamara go off for like 1,500 yards in that. But this is the Patriots, right? Uh, they aren't one way or the other when it comes to passing or running. It's really what is the game plan for the week, right? So, overall, was this a successful trade for the Patriots? It just depends if they sign him long term, and I'm assuming if they would trade for him, they would sign him long term and give him a decent amount of money. Um, one thing I don't think we consider about this is the fact that the Patriots are very unwilling to throw money at a player. So Alvin Kamara definitely wouldn't be getting a huge amount of money from the Patriots. So is this the most realistic trade that we could see for the Alvin Kamara and the Saints? No. But why did I do this? I'm a huge Patriots fan, and man, would it be cool to see Alvin Kamara and Cam Newton have this crazy dynamic duo, and hopefully not go five and eleven. Hopefully they go like twelve and four and make the playoffs and compete for a Super Bowl. But nonetheless, that was the Alvin Kamara trade to the New England Patriots. Success, W or an L? Unfortunately for the simulation, it was horrible. Would it be beneficial for the Patriots to acquire him in real life? Uh, absolutely. Could they give up a second, a fourth, and Marquise Lee for him? I don't know. Uh, the running back market for trading is very weird. Um, you know, essentially, the Cardinals got rid of David Johnson for DeAndre Hopkins. So if you're looking at it like that, man, you got a lot for, for David Johnson. But it's also Bill O'Brien, and he's not the uh, brightest GM slash coach ever. But nonetheless, that's the simulation for this video. Uh, if you enjoyed today's content, again, consider smashing the like button and subscribe if you are new to the channel. Thank you all for the support lately. I've been really enjoying all these simulation videos, and it seems that you have all as well. Have an amazing day. Stay healthy, stay happy. Take care, guys. What we do here is go back, 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 back.